Hello and welcome to Darlington, a town with a history that changed the world. Come with us as we stroll the streets and see the birth of the Industrial Revolution. We see Darlington's place in the world's first steam-powered passenger railway and then we see how the Towns Fund is helping to revitalise and restore many of the town's most historic streets and its wonderful buildings. During this series, we'll look at Northgate, which was once the grandest address in town, and we'll find out more about the plans to bring it back to its glory days. And we'll visit the iconic Northern Echo building with a sneak peek into its archives. And we'll hear from some familiar faces about their love for Darlington and their hopes and ambitions for its future. We're completely transforming Darlington. We need it to be welcoming. We want it to be warm. It's building on pride. The businesses are really motivated. But the fun is so important to, you know, revitalise and regenerate the area. I'm Chris Lloyd and today I'm visiting Clark's Yard, which is one of Darlington's most unique and interesting spaces. There are centuries and centuries of history squeezed into the stones and told by the yards, which are now being revitalised by the Towns Fund. Yards evolved because in medieval times, the best houses in town faced onto High Row with their gardens behind. And there were alleyways down the sides of the houses to reach the gardens. Over time, the wealthy people moved out to country villas and the lower floors of the High Row houses were converted into shops. And then cheap housing with workshops was crammed into the alleyways and spread over the gardens, creating the yards. The yards are rarely straight because one alley grew west from High Row and the other grew east from Skinnergate and they needed this dog's leg kink to join them up in the middle. And this is known as a finkel after an old Norse word for bend or elbow. Older residents remember that Alex Martino had his ice cream factory here and they would hear his cry in the streets, I see, I see, very, very good for you, ice cream, tell your mama, it's full of buttercream and eggs. And they would reply, I see Martinio, he sell ice creamio, or something like that anyway. The Towns Fund has been responsible for the redevelopment works that have been going on over the past year or so. Their vision has been to protect the heritage for future generations, restoring where possible rather than replacing, and uh, giving the yards a new sense of life for modern day living. And now, with the brightly coloured furniture and the street lighting, um, the yards are a beautiful place, a perfect place, to sit back and relax and watch the world go by.